In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own very high quality scratch thumbnails just like this. Personally, whenever I make a scratch game, I make sure I have all the art and code complete before I make the thumbnail. Once my game is completely finished, I then go and make a new sprite and name it thumbnail. Basically, whenever I make a thumbnail, I use the art in my game for the thumbnail. First, I just go into the backdrop sprite, copy the backdrop, and paste into the thumbnail. Then, I do this for other sprites. For my platformer game, I'm going to do it for the player, lava, and ground sprite. To make the game look realistic and very captivating to get viewers' attention. Now that I'm done my thumbnail, it looks decent, but it's a bit plain. I think it can use some text. Unfortunately, the text in Scratch is very limited, and it's not very good looking. So I'm going to go into another website called cooltext.com. Here I can choose from all these different fonts for my thumbnail. Once I've downloaded my text and uploaded it into my scratch game, now it's going to be in a new costume in the thumbnail sprite. So I'm just going to copy it, delete that costume, and paste it into the game. Here you can adjust as needed. Look at the text, it makes the game look a lot more fun and game realistic. So now that you're happy with your thumbnail sprite, this is how you save it. Make sure it's on the screen and code in the thumbnail sprite. When Greenfly clicked, hide, go to back layer. And then you can save the project. Now when we play the game, the thumbnail is not there. And now, when we scroll in my stuff, look at this, our thumbnail saved. Well guys, that's it for this quick and easy tutorial on how to make a thumbnail in Scratch. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!